Hey YouTube, it's Week Gaming Year. So, many of you have asked me what do I think about Harald and if he is a commander worth investing in. Also, after the previous update, the description of one of his skills changed. Normally, it is not a big deal. We can understand that Lilith, being a Chinese company, sometimes can have troubles in translations, and translations are not made with the best wording we can have. But in this case, the change of wording might also indicate a drastic change in the effect of Harald's fourth skill, Stamford Bridge. So, to prove our theory, we are gonna run some tests, with Harald already expertised in the Osiris mode, both one-on-one -on -one and when he gets swarmed. So we are gonna test how the fourth skill is actually working. And we are gonna do that multiple times to have a strong proof about our theory. Of course, sometimes the battle reports tend not to show everything in a swarming situation. So we are also gonna keep this war small and go from there in reading the reports and break down the battle logs. But first, let's take a look at his skills and let's comment them together. Here we have our Harald. Let's read the first skill, Berserker. It's the active skill which has a rage requirement of 1000, like every commander basically except two. Genghis Khan, who has 950 requirement, and Edward of Woodstock with 1350. If not surrounded, troops led by this commander deal direct damage to the current target, with a damage factor upwards of 1200. If surrounded, troops deal direct damage to up to three target troops within a circular area of effect, with a damage factor upwards to 1500. The damage dealt to each target is reduced by 15%, blah blah blah, we already know this. After using this skill, troops gain 20% increased damage for 2 seconds. We are also gonna see if this last effect of the 20% increased damage is working both in the case of Surrounded Harald and in the case of Not Surrounded Harald. We'll see that in a moment. So, let's go over to the second skill, shall we? Viking Battle Axe, passive skill. We're attacking strongholds and cities, so this is a conquering skill. We know that Harald, having a conquering tree, we can expect some skills of this type. Infantry units led by this commander gain 10% increased attack and, please pay attention, whenever they take damage, they have a 10% chance to reduce that damage by 30%. This damage reduction effect can trigger once every 5 seconds. So, let's go to the fourth skill just for a second. It's written, when troops led by this commander are on the map and use their normal attack. So, Lilith does know the difference between dealing damage, receiving damage in general, and dealing damage or receiving damage in a specific way, through, for example, normal attack damage and counterattack damage. But we'll go there in a moment. So, this skill has not a timer, it's not like you take damage and for 3 seconds your damage taken is reduced by 30%. In the moment you take damage, that very damage will be reduced instantly by 30% in that turn, and this will take effect once every 5 seconds. So regarding the damage reduction, this is not a skill with a timer, for example, having received damage and you reduce the damage for 2 seconds. No. When you receive damage, you reduce that damage instantly in that very turn by 30%. Let's now go over to the third skill, Baranja Guard. Infantry units led by this commander gain 30% increased attack and 10% increased march speed. This is the buffing part of the skill, so it's fixed, it's never going away. When this commander uses their active skill, all infantry units under their command gain 5% more attack but lose 5% defense. This effect lasts 8 seconds and can stack up to 15 times. So at the 15th stack, you'll get 75% defense reduction. Finally, let's go over to the fourth skill before the expertise, Stanford Bridge, and this is the skill literally everyone is talking about. 
when troops led by this commander are on the map and use their normal attack, this commander has a 20% chance to cast their active skill and grant their troops immunity to all defense reduction effects for 3 seconds. This skill can trigger once every 5 seconds. So I'm gonna put on the screen now the previous description of this skill that has changed before the, the, the last update. And you can see that it says when troops led by this commander are on the map and deal damage. So yeah, what happened? If the skill effect is consistent with its description, then Harold might have gotten a big nerf in the case he's warmed, because when he uses the first skill when he's warmed, remember that he's gonna deal direct damage up to three targets within a circular area of effect. So if the skill description doesn't say anymore when he deals damage, he has no chance that that skill is gonna activate when he deals AoE damage on the field, but only when he's directly attacking a target. That's exactly what we are gonna test now to see if it's true. But before that, let's speak briefly about the expertise skill, Valhalla. Counter-attack damage dealt on the map is increased by 20%, fantastic. If surrounded, counter-attack damage dealt will be further increased, bonus damage equals to number of surrounding enemies multiplied by 2%, with an upper limit of 10 surrounding enemies, so you can get upwards to 20% further increasing in counterattack damage. It's also worth mentioning that the immunity to all defense reduction from the fourth skill, it's not gonna counteract permanently the debuff effect from the third skill. For example, if you had 50% defense reduction before the fourth skill took place, you're gonna have an immunity for 3 seconds and then resume from that very 50% defense reduction and stack, continue stacking on the top of that. Here we are on the battlefield in the Osiris League mode. Thank you very much to Jaya for helping me running this test. We are also testing here some pairing solution for Harald. I'm using Harald Leonidas and Jaya is using Harald with Alex. I think that Leonidas has a good synergy with Harald. It's also much slower than Harald Alex because Alex has another 30% march speed for infantry, some to the one from Harald we're gonna get 40%, while we are gonna have only 10% in the case of Harald with Leonidas. I also need to say that Jaya is using the infantry special units because he has the Roman civilization while I have Ottomans and I don't have the infantry special units, but we did this kinda on purpose because we wanted to test if Leonidas was actually better than Alex or not, and yeah he is, you can see from the report that I'm winning also on the severely wounded units even if I don't have the special unit. So yes, Leonidas is a better pairing than Alex and he has a good synergy with Harald. Here as a small experiment we have Jaya pulling out his Harald Alex from the battle when Leonidas drops below 10% health and activates his expertise skill increasing all the damage by 400% and yeah this is pretty much the only case where Leonidas loses to Harald Alex. Yeah, you can maybe say that the previous round where he pulled out his march was an unfortunate round because it started really bad and his Harald used many times his active skill repeatedly, but here we have another unfortunate round and he doesn't pull out the march when Leonidas activates his expertise skill and he still loses. And let's remember that he also has the, the infantry special units. So again, I think in my opinion that there is no doubt that Harald Leonidas is a better pairing compared to Harald Alex, also because he has a good AoE value. What's next? Well, now I want to prove if Harald has been nerfed or not, so we decided to put him in a swarming situation where he's been swarmed down by two marches at once, from my side and from Jaya's side. We also have added a constant in Joan just because we like to do many things at once, and we are gonna break down reports and we are also testing commanders here because I'm using one with Alex and Harald with Leonidas while he's using Harald with Alex and Guan Yu with Leonidas. He wins because in my opinion Leonidas works better with one 
as a second in command. But yeah, that's another speech maybe for another video. Let's get now to the analysis of the battle report and the breakdown of the battle log. Here we take the report where Harald is battling the enemy Harald 1 on 1, so its primary target and of course our Harald is dealing normal attack damage to him. Let's open the battle log and search for Harald's fourth skill, Stamford Bridge. And yeah, we are lucky here we have it on turn number two. We can see, we can read from the report that after our Harald attacks with normal attack, the enemy Harald, this attack triggers Harald Sigurdsson fourth skill Stamford Bridge. Reading on the battle log, we can see that the same happens in turn 12 and in turn 18. Also, not even Harald's active skill, Berserker, who is now hitting multiple targets and has an AoE value, is activating just once the fourth skill Stanford Bridge. Not even once. We proved that the active skill of Harald cannot trigger the fourth skill, but we're not over just yet. What about the counterattack damage? Can it trigger Harald's Stanford Bridge or not? So to prove that, let's go to the very same battle report, but to the second part, where Harald is taking damage by Guan Yu. Let's remember that Harald is not directly attacking Guan Yu, but he's being swarmed by Guan Yu. And Jaya was careful to swarm me in the same moment with both the marches, so we will find the fourth skill of Harald on turn number two. And we can see that the attack triggered Harald Sigurdsson's skill Stanford Breach happens before Guan Yu attacks my Harald. So this means that the skill one was not triggered by Guan Yu attacking me. So also the counter-attack damage does not trigger Harald's fourth skill, but only the normal attack damage. And here we have the continuation of the battle report, turn 12 and turn 18, and yeah, it goes on like this until the end. So, which are our conclusions here? Well, I don't have any data previous to the change of the skill description, so I cannot be 100% certain, but if the previous description of Lilith actually matched the skill effect, then yes, Harald has been silently nerfed. And to answer the question, should we invest in Harald or not? Mm, not quite. I would invest in Guan Yu, Alex and Leonidas before because they are pretty much better in every aspect of the game, open field, rallying, and yeah, maybe then in the future you can invest in Harald if you already have maxed out all those commanders. If you guys like this kind of content where we break down everything about the commanders and answer to your questions, please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel and activate the bell for notification not to miss out to any future content. Thank you very much for the support and I will see you on the next video. Ciao!